10 Hag favourite to get the Manchester United job. What could this mean for Donny's future? Will Donny leave Manchester United in January along with Anthony Martial and Jesse Lingard? And what is Ralph Rangnick's long-term plan for Donny van der Beek, especially if he manages to sign CDM target Hedera? Rudiger's also linked to Manchester United and Cavani could be another player leaving Manchester United this January. All the latest Manchester United news today. Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and welcome back to another episode of all the latest Manchester United transfer news, rumours, gossip and news in general on the channel. Another episode of, I guess you could say, Alice Reacts. It's going to be a shorter video today, uh, but it will be live tomorrow night. So make sure you smash a like, make sure you smash a subscribe. And what is going on in the world of Manchester United? Well, we know that we've been out with a little bit of COVID. We haven't been able to train for the last two days. The Brentford game was cancelled. Uh, but as it stands, the Brighton game will still go ahead. Manchester United have returned to training and at least 17 players were spotted in training, but that's only the ones that were spotted. So I'm sure there are more, you know, Donny wasn't spotted in training today. Um, Sancho wasn't, Greenwood wasn't, but Greenwood's only just had COVID. Surely he's not got it again. Can you get it again that quickly? Uh, the Manchester even News confirmed that Ronaldo, Fred, Lindelof, Rashford, Baye, Baranda, Lowe, McTominay, Martial, Wampsaka, Grant, De Gea, Fernandes, Cavani, Jones, Tellers, Chong, and Paul Pogba were all spotted in training. Paul Pogba returns from Dubai, his warm weather training, and is back at Manchester with Manchester United in training. He is due sort of just after Christmas, end of 2021, early 2022, back from injury. And although Ralph Ragnick, you know, did talk about why wouldn't you want to play for Manchester United, maybe Martial and Pogba aren't in Ralph Ragnick's plans because they both said that they want to leave or hinted that they want to leave retrospectively. Um, I think, you know, we will be using Paul Pogba and I think, you know, I think when you have a player as good as Paul Pogba, Ragnick's not going to completely not use him and I am excited for Paul Pogba's return. I think Cavani could become a very, very good player under Ralph Ragnick. However, Cavani, believe it or not, guys, has been linked to Barcelona. Obviously, Aguero had to retire early. That was actually announced today. Um, brilliant striker. Like, look, other than that moment of heartbreak when he scored that goal versus QPR, I've always liked Aguero. He's just, I think he's a great professional. Um, so, you know, Cavani could be going to Barcelona, but I don't think Ralph Ragnick wants to get rid of Cavani, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, but we we have to wait and see as well. Because, um, you know, it's Cavani and Martial could be going. Ronaldo's a couple of years off retirement. That would mean our only strike is um, Greenwood. So maybe we could get Haaland in the summer because we have been linked to Haaland. But in other news, Fabrizio Romano said if Donny van der Beek's situation does not change in January, he will leave at Manchester United. He will look to leave. He wants to leave. But I don't think Donny's going to leave in January because I don't think Ragnick's going to let him leave because I believe that Donny van der Beek is in Ralph Ragnick's plans. And I've got a lot of reasons to why I believe this, is, which, which, is what, which is what I want to talk about. First of all, Matic is, is done. Uh, Fred and Tom and I are the, the two pivot players, but with the absolute density of the fixture is coming up and the fact that Ralph Ragnick played Donny as a lone holding midfielder with Matter and Lingard ahead of him says to me Ralph Ragnick is willing to play Donny in the deeper role, in the pivot role. Fred and Tom and I, one of them's likely to pick up an injury. They're going to have to be rested, they're going to have to be rotated. You're going to have to put someone in that role. Pogba's, you know, not quite in favour. Matic is done. Donny needs to go in that role for rotation. Bruno hasn't been brilliant lately. Donny needs to go in that role for, for rotation. I think even if we do get Hedara in, who I will talk about later in this video, and even if Manchester United do bring in a midfielder, again, I just don't think we have the depth to let Donny go. Um, and funny enough, Sky Sports actually reported that, you know, Ten Hag is open to the Manchester United job in the summer. You know, Ten Hag is the favourite to get the Manchester United job. Ralph Rannick is a big admirer of Eric Ten Hag. And I think, you know, it looks like we could be going for Eric Ten Hag in the summer. Uh, that is the one we've mostly linked to. Ten Hag knows Donny. He's not going to want to sell Donny. Why would we sell Donny in January if, if it is true that we're going to get Ten Hag in the summer? And that's created a lot of speculation of, you know, Donny started playing a lot more lately. I mean, yes, he's coming off the bench, but he's coming off the bench at least. Under Rolly, he put in a man of match performance that didn't get on the pitch for nearly two months. At least he's coming off the bench. Retrospectively, he's coming off the bench for five minutes. But he has started three of the Champions League games this season. He has been more and more involved. He was actually tipped to play versus Brentford. And I believe that, you know, Ragnick's got plans for Donny. We've seen that Donny's been working hard in training. Ragnick will see that Donny's been working hard in training. And, you know, Luke Shaw came out and said that Donny van der Beek's absolutely brilliant in training. And a lot of Manchester United players have come out and talked about how good Donny is in training. And with Ralph Ragnick bringing in his new coaches, although not much has changed now, although versus the Norwich game was very McKenna, Phelan, Solskjaer, Karakesk. I think the more and more time Ragnick spends with the squad sees him in training, the more and more time that Ragnick's coaches see Donny, the more and more he will see Donny for the player he is. 
And although Donny could leave in January, I, I, I don't believe that is the case. And I, I did want to talk about that and throw that out as well. But funny enough, Martial is linked to leaving in January. He's linked to Atletico Madrid. Don't know if they can afford him. I think if Atletico do want Martial, they'd have to think of doing a swap deal. But I think Atletico is the type of move that Martial would like. Look, Martial for Jack Felix, I would take that swap deal. But realistically, that's not going to happen. Martial is linked to leave United, but I just don't know who's going to pay his wages, who's going to buy him. And weirdly enough, Rudiger has been linked to Manchester United. Rudiger. And I'd take Rudiger a decent centre-back. Do we really need a centre-back? No, we need a midfielder. But to be fair, Maguire's been crap. Maybe we do. A player like Rudiger would improve us, actually. But it's come from build. Now, Christian Fault is such a hit and miss journalist because he was absolutely right with the Jane and Sancho stuff. He was the first on it. He's got so much right. But also, Christian fault has got so much wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like you can't rely on him, but sometimes he's the first to report a story and first to be right. And when it is Bundesliga news, he is more credible. And Bild and Christian Falk actually sort of talked about uh, Rudiger to Manchester United. He said, true, Manchester United are interested in Rudiger. He said that Ralph Ragnick knows uh, Rudiger and his agent uh, and his brother, Saar, sense he very well and has signalled the willingness to negotiate. Um, that's come out from Bild that actually we could be going for Rudiger. Because um, he will be a free agent, he will be cheap in the summer. And, you know, we know Ragnit is very good at those cheap deals. He likes German players. Maybe that's something we could do. But talking about players from the Bundesliga, Haidara to Manchester United is sort of the news going around. If we're going to sign someone in January, I think it's going to be this Hedera guy from RB Leipzig, guys. Uh, he's a CDM, he's 23. Uh, what I like about him is he will be £30 million. And, you know, although you could go for Declan Rice, he's probably better. You have to spend £100 million for Declan Rice. And I'd rather go for one of those good international players and mould them into a superstar at Man United. And Ralph Rangnick knows a lot about him. Uh, the only thing is, as Fab said, you know, United have got a very dense squad to get in a CDM. We need to sell players. And I think us bringing in Hedera, if we sell Lingard, if we sell Martial, I believe we will bring in Hedera in January. But if we don't, I believe it will be a situation where we can't bring anyone in January. But Hedera's obviously been linked to United or not. We know United are big fans. We know Ragnar are big fans. And uh, Hedera, I think that's how you say his name, has actually addressed the rumours. And he said everyone had a favourite team as a kid. He said that his favourite team was Manchester United. Of course, he said that he wants to move United. Go and get him, go and get him. He's calling for the move. He also said I was a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. I liked Paul Scholes, Patrice Evra, Edwin van der Sar, even Anderson, even Anderson. I mean, he was a United fan if he liked Anderson because who the hell talks about Anderson now? I think I think Anderson's only like 30 as well right now. He, he, I don't think he's still playing though. Let me continue. But if you want to talk to me about rumours, I'm good at Leipzig, I feel good. He just says he's good at Leipzig, he, feel, he feels good. Players sometimes say when they're linked to a club, it's never going to happen, I'm staying at my club. He's just said he feels good at Leipzig. It's like Poch, when he got linked to United, just said, oh, I'm, I'm fine at PSG. You know, whereas a lot of other players, when they get linked to a club, linked to a move, they say that's never going to happen. They come out and say it's not going to happen. He hasn't said it's not going to happen. He just said he's good at his club and he literally just said he likes United. Ralph Rangnick really wants this guy. Manchester United really need a CDM. He has a £30 million release clause. He's obviously a big fan of Manchester United. If something's going to happen in January, this is the move. It's a good move. If there is any updates on that, I will keep you guys updated if anything interesting comes out related to the move. But keep an eye on this. But as Fabrizio Romano said, it does depend on outs. I will just throw out, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do, because throughout the January transfer window, I will be keeping you up to date on all the latest Manchester United news, transfer news and updates. There will be a lot of transfer discussion throughout throughout January and, and late December. And we are, you know, two weeks retrospect. Why am I keep saying retrospectively? We are two weeks away from the January transfer window. So there definitely will be some gossip and news coming on the channel. So do subscribe, do smash a like. And the last story that's come out, actually, happy birthday, Jesse Lingard, 29 today. Can you believe that Lingard's 29? It, it does not look 29. It do he looks young and I, he feels young. I feel like Lingard's 23. He's always been a youth academy player. I feel like that it, with a lot of our youth academy players, Lingard and Scott McTominay, we actually forget that they're a lot older than we think. Uh, but actually getting into my final story, well, second final story, the Manchester Union News reported that Moran is set to start versus Brighton and the Premier League does not want to stop any more games because of COVID. So I believe the Brighton game will go ahead and we could say Mr. Raphael Moran. Guys, thank you for watching today's video of the Alice Talks Football Transfer Roundup. I would have gone live, but I'm just a bit drained from going live at the moment. And look, I like going live when there's matches on, when there's big, big news. And I think, you know what, I thought I'd do a short video today because I will be live tomorrow and I will be live Friday night. And I will be live Saturday for the Manchester United versus Brighton Watch Long. And then I will be live again Saturday. And I'm just waffling now. But like, subscribe, share. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will be live tomorrow night. If anything massive comes out today, then I'll go live tonight. See you then.